Today, we're going to time travel back to Sicily during the early 1980s, which, as most of you know, was a violent era. I'll be speaking about someone named Pino Marchese, not to be confused with Giuseppe Pino Marchese, a member of the Colonesi hit squad. This Pino Marchese started out as a cobbler, one who would sing as he fixed shoes. The people that would listen to him sing would tell him that he had a beautiful voice, which is how he became a singer. And it was during one of his concerts that he caught the eye of Giuseppina Lucchese, who was not only married, but the sister of Giuseppe Lucchese, known as Lucicidu. Lucchese was a top Colonese shooter with an untold amount of bodies under his belt. In fact, his close friend was Pino Greco, the infamous Colonese killer. Both Lucchese and Greco participated in the murders of Stefano Botante and Salvatore and Zerillo. The singer and Giuseppina began an affair. People who seen him in a woman's company warned him of the danger of being with her. Nevertheless, he didn't take heed to those warnings. At first, the mafia blackballed him by putting a stop to his career. The people of Sicily, specifically Palamo, were told they could no longer buy his records or tapes, and his music wasn't permitted to be played anywhere. The people were also told they had to pretend Pino Marchese never existed. Back then, if the mafia said something, out of fear, the people listened. Then on July 26, 1982, Pino Marchese was abducted by armed men and taken to a warehouse. Waiting for him was Giuseppe Lucchese. His body was later found inside of a car in the Piazza Independenza in Florence. His severed testicles were placed in his mouth. But Lucchese wasn't finished. To keep honor in his family, he ordered the murder of his sister. But it was Pino Greco who killed her. Ironically, three years later, Lucchese was one of Pino Greco's killers. Pino Marchese lost his life in a brutal way. However, after the news of his death reached the people, in a display of defiance and disagreement of his murder, they began playing his music. Pino Marchese's voice could be heard everywhere, naturally to the annoyance of the mafia. So in death, Pino Marchese beat them. 